And he's the winner. He got up. And the fourth sounded like easterly wind. But at any rate, he's got up, Fraser Leon. So the result then of this Yorkshire Bank Trophy, it's a win for the favourite, number 20, Fraser Leon, owned by Mr G Edmondson, trained at Lambourne by Tom Marshall and ridden by Dennis Mackay. Second was number 10, Miss Mirabel, owned by Lord Walpole, trained by Michael Jarvis and ridden by Bruce Raymond. And third was number 24, Jolly Green Giant, owned by Mr A.F. Layton, trained by John Yardley and ridden by George Duffield. So uh, Michael Jarvis and Bruce Raymond, second in the opener with Best Bold, have to settle for the runner-up spot once again because they were defeated, albeit narrowly, by uh, Prezelian in this uh, Yorkshire Bank trophy. Well, we're going to give you our SP shortly, but we can now bring you the SP on the 2 o'clock from Haydock Park. First number 14, Quality Road, 7-2. Second number 11, Dear Gem, 5 to 1. And third number 13, Jade Empress at 9 to 2. Heavy Weapon was the 2 to 1 favourite. A non runner here, number 10, and 5 ran. Hello, John. We're all right here, mate. Campari. With ice and a jush of soda. Staggering, isn't it, eh? The pre-prandial delights of Cafe Society. Shimmering at a mere arm's length. Stone me. Beautiful. The end of a perfect day. Hey, Ron. What is it, John? Luxuriating in its superbly bittersweet taste, eh? No. Do you fancy a paddle? From the edge of time. From the depths of the earth, Timex takes quartz make a watch for a new age. The new Timex Quartz, a watch so accurate you may not have to set it again this year. Thin, sleek, and more beautiful than any watch you could ever imagine. The new Timex, the new Timex Quartz. When you feel like a quick bite to eat, no one is quicker than McDonald's. Can I help you, please? Just give us your order, and we'll serve you in next to no time. At McDonald's, we keep things moving, so you can pop in and out anytime. That's the difference at McDonald's you'll enjoy. Our service, it makes all the difference. Well, lad, that's double looking. Ah, oh, take that away, lovely. Hey, yon's a reetin', is that? Cool, handsome, a right little darling. Sure, that's a powerful looking glass. Absolutely top hell. Aye, that's a stutter. Now, been there, and wait again, this board game rugby done team. And we rejoin you with the full SP on the two o'clock at Catterick. First number 20, Fraser Leon, 130 favourite. Second number 10, Miss Mirabel, 4 to 1. And third number 24, Jolly Green Giant, 16 to 1. A non-runner number 4, and 15 ran. And now at the halfway stage, the running total on the ITV 6 to a 10 pence unit stands at 4 pounds and 27 pence. Yes, Bookmakers William Hill have just told me they report tons of money for Fraser Leon back from 8 to 1 to 100 to 30 and you saw the jubilant scenes there in the winner's enclosure. Somebody's made a small fortune or even a big fortune. That was a real wholesale gamble. Dennis Mackay was confident he'd got up, more confident the rest of us and the other people, uh, the owners down there, they uh, certainly had a heart stopper for a few seconds. Tom Marshall incidentally, the son of Bill, the new market trainer, Tom's second winner of the season and he was a very good uh, amateur jockey before he took up training about eight years ago. So smiles in the winner's enclosure here at Catrick and uh, that's the news. The sun has come out. It's still very, very windy. We're hanging on. So let's go back to the calm of the studio and Fred.
Thank you very much, Derek. Just to remind you, we still have three more races to come to complete the ITV6 this afternoon. One from Catterick and two from Epsom, including at 2.55, the fourth classic of the season, the Oaks. Then at ten past three in Sports Special 2, it's Speedway and the British final of the World Individual Championship from Coventry. A soaring through on the inside there, we have Kenny Carter. And the three Halifax riders are really uh, stretching them here in heat number 10. It's still low, but now he's got his young teammate, Kenny Carter. Right behind him, Carter, only 20 years old. And Louis, who is going to be 40 on June the 14th. And Carter, the young man, has gone through. It was a very clean and clinical burst through. Speedways followed at 3.50 by the mid-afternoon sports roundup, including all the cricket news and an update on the racing results. Then at 4, it's professional wrestling from Croydon. Three bouts, they're all heavyweights, including Tarzan Johnny Wilson and Professor Addy Wasser. Wasser will not start until he steps back. And Wilson getting a bit angry about the whole thing. So he's having his go now on the ropes, and he's got five seconds on and wrestling's followed at 4.50 by the results service. But it's back now to racing, to Epsom, and to you, John Oxy. <laughs> Thank you, Fred. I do love those wrestlers. However, uh, the Ebersham stakes, there are the uh, NMT Ebersham stakes. They're on their way to the post for that. But we're still puzzling about the Oaks. And when you're at Epsom, there's really only one man to talk to. And that, of course, is Lester Piggott. And Ruff, I'm glad to say, has found him. And as usual, Lester puts more into one or two words than most into a thousand. Lester, blue wind in the Oaks. Oh, Philly, we haven't seen you ride before. Have you actually ever, ever ridden her? No, I, I, I don't think I've ever seen her, really. <laughs> so what are you going to do? How do you approach getting to know a Philly like this? Uh, well, the trainer, he gives you a very good idea what, what to do and that. And, uh, and Wally told me all about it, you know. And uh, so I pretty well know what to do. Well, of course, she ran over a, a mile at the Guineas last time, mile and a half here. How will you approach the race? Well, I expect there'll be plenty of pace in the race anyway, you know. And, uh, you know, I just, just follow a few of them and, uh, and just hope she stays. Now, everyone that knows you is a master of tactics, and of course, the ground has been giving jockeys problems here. Where will you expect to come in the straight? Well, I don't know, you know, uh, but I should think they'll come over this down side. Because they put a false veil up today, around the turn, they're going to tie them out quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And Leap Lively, if Leap Lively makes it, would you, how late would you delay a filly like this is effort? Well, she, she might make it, but uh, there's a couple of others that will probably go along as well, you know, so you just have to play it by ear. And realistically, you always like to be realistic about your chances. How do you rate your chances? Well, she must have a very good chance, you know. Yeah. I have, I'm hoping for the best, you know. OK, good luck. <laughs> he is a marvel of e economy of effort, economy of words, but a lot of information. And uh, you may never have seen Blue Wind before, but she'll get the ride she deserves. Well, so will What Heaven in the NMT Ebersham, because Lester's on her at the post now. I honestly.